The knockout stages of the Viaplay Challenge Cup are upon us and Belfast Giants are the visitors in this quarter-final first leg clash. Corey Nielsen loves this competition. He had seven final wins in this competition as a player and coach with the Panthers. Three of those final triumphs came against the Belfast Giants. Tonight, Panthers continue to be short on bodies, but do welcome back defenseman Mike Caruso for this game. Alex DeBose starts in net, backed up by Matthew Bloor. The Giants have a full complement of 20 skaters for this game, with Scott Conway returning and recent signing Josh Roach making his debut of his second Giants spell. Now Puffer gets it to Anderson. Puffer right in front and Whistle makes save. Best chance of the night. with Cullen. Good play by Summers, but the puck is bouncing. Summers does really well. Gets it to Hammond. Now Ferrara. Ferrara puts it into the corner for Hammond to chase, but Ruop is there. Hammond does well. Now a bit of space. Luke Ferrara. Good blocker save. Jackson whistle. Really good opportunity for Ferrara, who has started to find the net of late. If it's going to, you know, be like that both ways, then there'll be lots of power plays, which is, which is fine. So, so third power play of the evening for the Belfast Giants, over two so far. This is with Goodwin, Goodwin across a bit of space here, and now is the opportunity. Great save, it was Cooper with the shot. Great pad save by Dubow. Yeah, huge save there by Dubow. Probably their best chance on the power play. Like you said, Cooper just kind of opened up there in the slot and great chance there. Conway takes it in, goes across, comes back to point. Now Goodwin, Goodwin fires in and he finds his way into the net. I think they might have been a tip. I think Aury might claim that it's Goodwin or Aury's goal, but whatever, the Giants are one ahead on the power play. Yeah, and, and you know what, if that is a tip, great tip, but you know how like we were talking a minute ago about just getting pucks to the net? You know, if you look here, D to D, shoots that through, a little bit of a screen, Aury's in front, but you know, again, doesn't have to be a, doesn't have to be a kind of tic-tac-toe backdoor play, just get it there with traffic, end of the period, and the Giants take the lead. Kelly, who brings it away for the Giants, just looking to put it deep. Summers will go long. Levin picks it up. David Levin, bit of space. Levin turns back, gets it right out in front. It was the right idea to look for Myers, but now it could break a two-on-one the other way. And Gelly, oh, he finds the net himself. He had Bass going over as the foil, but Angeli puts it into the net. The and, Giants lead 2 now. And, and Bass does a great job there getting up ice. He was, you know, the first guy leaving the zone. He was out, and, you know, obviously he was used as a decoy in the end, but giving uh, Angeli that option, you see him look up, see Bass, obviously looks him off in the end and scores, but if he doesn't make that dart up the ice, it's not even a two-on-one, so... So Panthers have it. It's with Brady, Brady. Goes across. Comes to Willish, get back to Brady with the shot. Oh, oh it, no, 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 no. No, it didn't go no, over. Didn't go. Blow the whistle then. <laughs> no way. Yeah, no. no I mean, I, I would say from here it didn't. No it was way. right Did there though. Like the it was. It went straight no through right Jackson here. whistle and rested on the line. And yeah. in, in this different commentary position yeah. that we're in, we're right behind the goal. Yeah. Yeah. I think we okay, can say stays in, let's go. It seemed to take an age to kind of come out of his equipment though and, and, hey. and drop down. It was just behind your right foot. Just behind your right foot. Can you see behind shot. you there look, on, the, uh, on the screen? I thought they might have uh, might have had a look, but like you said. So, Panthers with a great chance there. Brady puts it back in, stops it from going over. Now there's a bit of space, fired in, and Panthers do get one back. Jeremy Welsh gets it from Brady, fired in pass whistle, Panthers on the board. And do you know what? I almost said it. That happens so often when 
you know, you sort of almost score and, you know, maybe it's on the line and then it just gives you that bit of fire and Jeremy Welsh absolutely rips that one. He really got some mustard on that. But he just got that bit of time and space. Quite lucky to put it back in, but it's the Panthers who come away with it. Comes across looking for Walishka, but now a chance for Conway to break. Conway goes back towards the net. Great save, Debeau. In that position. Oh, he's down, though. Scott Conway normally is scores, but Debeau is hurt. He stayed down. What a save, though. That, that, that quick, quick. Oh, he re yeah, that, that's a huge save. Trying to bring it out over the blue line now. Now a chance for Panthers to break. Brady, he's got Levin with him. Levin. Takes it on, Levin. Oh, gets play. it across. Great shot, great goal. David Levin gets it across to Welch. And Jerry Welch has his second of the game. But brilliant play by David Levin. Yeah, I almost thought he'd kind of overrun it and lost it, and it just pops out. Levy dives and gets it to Jeremy Welsh. And Welshy there with a the one-timer again, posted in. Yeah, great bit of play there just to find him. Yeah, it looked like the play had broken down, but great tenacity by David Levin to just dive and get the puck across to Jeremy Welsh. And another great finish from Welsh. Kelso. Six down, huh? Six Kelso down. Still as well. Yeah, it does really well there. He's been so good since he's been back. You know, I know he used to penalty kill a lot anyway, but what a smooth transition from a from a guy from you know being a being a good forward to just jumping back and playing D. Oh, oh, oh off, off the, the post. post. Gay Bast went through everybody and then hits the post. Really, really good play by Gay Bast. It deserved a goal to be there. Did, yeah. Well closed down by Jordan Council. Brilliant. To Sorensen. Sorensen, nice pass to oh, is that? Oh. Then there's a penalty coming. On and the it is on, on the, the Giants. So, power play opportunity for the Panthers. Yeah, this game is nicely, <coughs> nicely teed up for the Panthers here. You know, come back. And now they're getting this power play. I didn't see it either. Oh, yeah, it's just there. Cullen once again in the box. So Panthers, 0 for 2 from their previous two power plays. So Levin picks it up. Bit of space, fires it in, and there's a rebound, and Panthers do take the lead. And it's Brad Walishka on the rebound into the corner. And the Nottingham Panthers are three to a hand. Yeah, and uh, David Levine's just giving way too much time then. He can just walk in, walk in, and shoot that one. And it falls right to Walichka, and he buries that one. Great finish by Walichka, but once again, made by David Levin. Levin having a great game here. Two Giants getting each other's way. Oh, bit of space here now, and it's dropped back. Oh, what a save to Bo! Conway tries to get it out of the air. Cooper gets it back. Fired in again, and Brady clears. Oh, great save. It was a superb save. Scott Conway pulling the trigger. And then try, Conway again tried to bat it out yeah. of uh, mid-air and put it back towards the goal. Won by Myers. Huge face-off win. And that will go into the corner, and that will probably do it. A fabulous first leg victory. Oh, but there's a bit of pushing and shoving at the end. Not happy with Lake. And it's... Hey, guys! Oh, getting feisty getting down there. Big penalties, all right? Thank you. I think Lake was guys, very frustrated at that yeah. face-off, and I think Good he just guys. let Good that boys. frustration come out. It's all cleared up. But it is. A victory for the Nottingham Panthers in the first leg.
Oh yeah, two goals. Yeah. To Jeremy Welsh took two goals with absolute aplomb. A playful bump from Mike Caruso as Jerry Welsh throws his arms in the air along with the fans in the building. And the Panthers will leave the ice. A job well done in this first leg. A 3-2 victory over the Belfast Giants. On Panthers TV, association with Jeremiah's Chimney Systems. Joined by forward David Levin. Well, let's talk about the game against the Belfast Giants. That was some comeback. How did he find it? Uh, yeah, I think they're a very good team and uh, they play fast and they play hard. So uh, I think we just came stronger than them and we play hard, we skated hard, we support each other and uh, that's the results in the end when you play hard. I guess you've talked to the guys in the dressing room about the aggregate scoreline. You're just uh, a goal ahead going into the second leg in January. Is, is that something weird for you to get used to? Uh, yeah, but we still got to be ready and I think we still want to win games and we want to win any, every period uh, of any game. So again, we got to be ready to play, support each other and become uh, like a family. What do you think was the key to success tonight? Because you could have let your heads drop at 2-0 down, but you found a way. What, what did you feel was the key to the comeback? Uh, I think we just read it mentally. You know, we had a very good uh, week of practice. We skated hard. Uh, we felt each other on the ice and we support each other, and uh, that's the result. Uh, what about the weekend, back-to-back -back games against Fife? What, what can you expect from them? They're a team lower down the standings, but, but you have struggled a bit against them. What do you think you can do to t turn that sort of bad form around against them? Uh, yeah, I think they always come uh, ready to play, but uh, I think we have to be ready mentally to play from the first period, from the first second, when the puck drop, and uh, we're going to be ready. Just finally, obviously since Corey Nielsen's come in, you've seen the evidence that the, the results are starting to change. Can you feel that in, in the locker room? Uh, yeah, I think uh, the guys are mentally ready, mentally happy. Uh, again, we support each other and we come into practice with a smile and uh, we're ready to play any game. Corey, very good comeback. What was the catalyst, you think, to, to come back like that? Um... I would have to say the leadership of Jeremy Welsh. Um, not only did he score uh, our first goal, but uh, between the first and, and second period, he came in and he gave the he tore into the boys a little bit. And uh, I was sitting in my office and I just kind of peeked my ears out. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's Jeremy. He's yelling at them. He's telling them it's this playoffs, guys. Let's just figure it out. And uh, you know, I was in my in my room in my coaching office, and I was thinking, damn, he's he's right. I got to start bringing some energy too. So, uh, you know, I came in in the between periods and I'm not really a yeller, but I can bring energy and enthusiasm as well. So I, I, I did that and I thought uh, they came out and responded accordingly. Did they show you something different tonight, perhaps that you'd not seen for part of the season that you've been here and, and the way they managed to turn that around? Um, I thought they stuck with it really well. So um, in games before, you know, the games we got blown out in, uh, for instance, they would... You know, play hard, you know, things wouldn't go their way, uh, excuse me, our way, things wouldn't go our way. And, you know, we'd make a mistake or we'd cheat. And, you know, then the, the game would sometimes just fall out of sync and, you know, we'd be disorganized and running all over the place. And um, today I thought they stuck with it. I thought, um, I thought on the night Belfast was a better hockey team. Uh, I thought they're, you know, as a group, they're they're dear, fantastic. They move the puck so well, hard to forecheck. And they, every time we've got rush opportunities or breakouts or any kind of regroup transition, their D were stepping up on our forwards, and we didn't connect the dots. Our spacing was poor, and they would just take the puck away. So, um, all those things said, I thought we really stuck with it, battled, and uh, played with a ton of desperation. And obviously, when your goaltender's playing as well as, as Doobie did tonight, you got a chance to win. Adam, well, where do you think it went wrong in the end for your side tonight? Well, I thought the first period, I thought I liked our game. I thought we were a bit too perimeter, no net presence, and obviously let uh, DeBose settle in, and I thought he was great after that. And, you know, we've had that problem where we're, we're, we're allowing goalies to kind of feel the puck and get clean shots and, and see the puck, and, and then all of a sudden it feels like we're playing against uh, Marty Berdur every night. So... Um, that's a problem. Scoring is a problem for us right now. Uh, you know, that being said, I, I like a good portion of our game, but I didn't think we did enough. You know, obviously that's the reason why Nottingham won tonight. And uh, we're going to have to be better at home and we're going to have to do a lot more. I mean, that's it. We're just not giving enough to, to get results. You know, I thought the same thing on Saturday in Cardiff. We, we played OK, but we didn't do enough to get to make sure we got the win. And I thought it was the same tonight. When you're struggling to score goals a little bit, what can you do to change it? Is it just a moment of magic or do you really have to go back to basics? 
Oh, I think you shoot and hit the net. Number one, may force the goalie to make a save. I think we missed the net uh, five or six times there through the second period with great scoring chances and missed the net. And the goalie doesn't have to make a save. So that's that's start with that, hit the net. Um, second, we got to get there. We have to create scrambles. We weren't really doing that. You know, we're playing a bit too perimeter right now, and it's uh, it's costing us games.